Hello guys and girls and welcome to City Skyline Industries with me Bipper. Thank you very very much for joining me. Today we are going to be hitting 60,000 population. We are so close and that means we can unlock more squares and get access to I think it's called the modular cargo plane terminal or something like that which is going to be fantastic. Not quite sure where we're going to put that yet but that is definitely on the cards just enjoying some views of the city do you know what i should do i should turn on the nighttime view so we can get some of those lovely nighttime views as well as we don't seem to get many of those wow the traffic on that junction there anyway people will deal with it i'm sure they will so ooh, is that a fire going on over there we're at 59,571. we need to get 60,000. let's just whiz over here we were looking that way. Was there a fire or something? Is it gone? It's been dealt with already. Okay, excellent. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to turn on the day and night setting. Disasters off. Day and night cycle. There we go. So we'll get that going and enjoy some of that. And then, yeah, we're going to be hitting 60,000. So if we look at this one here, modular cargo airport and the cargo airport, you get both, as well as a normal airport, another square, and then one more. 70,000 and we can unlock as much as we like so I prefer doing it that way because it gives you a bit of a challenge when you start off You can't just have everything that you want straight away, which I'm happy with so Power seems to be an issue What hang on a sec what I've just added more power in Power is going through it's almost like a distance thing sometimes I think because I put in Huh I put in another one of these over here. We're making enough consumption. We're making more than enough. I tell you what we need to do is we need to get like a dam in or something like that. For now, I think I'm going to add a geothermal plant at this end of the city just to try and sort of help with things. And that's like a nice cool thing we can slide in right by our industry stuff. So I'm going to do that and hopefully that will take care of all the power problems over here. And they're going okay. They're going okay. Yep, yeah, good. Okay, so that will sort that out. I'm sure we've got more power than we need. And more water. Excellent. Oh, we're so close. So where could we put this airport? I mean, we've got this massive area over here. Which, let's just go in this view. Right by this sort of cargo hub that probably could do with being sorted out a bit. We've got this land over here. Which again, Oh, the sun's going down. Oh, we wanted to see this, didn't we? But that's further away. I mean, I'm thinking we need it near a sort of highway connection. Yay! 60,000! Excellent! Modular cargo, cargo and airport. Let's just take a look at those. By the way, I've had a few people saying, how come you're losing money? With industries, it fluctuates. It fluctuates up and down all the time. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look at these things. Uh, planes, trains, automobiles. There we go. So, airport. Cargo airport. Uh, international we haven't got yet. Cargo airport hub. We haven't got that one yet. But we've got the cargo airport. What was the modular? It was unlocking the modular thing as well, wasn't it? Small airport, no runway. Modular cargo airport. Just like the vanilla one, but modular. Not quite sure what that does. Oh, let's enjoy the views of our city at night. We don't often get this, do we? Let's just scroll around some of the views we can enjoy. Now, something else I want to check as well before we start putting the airports down is the uh, import-export tab, which someone pointed out to me is something that we really need to take a look at. I've been mentioning in a few episodes that it's not an easy way to see the import and export of all of your goods. There still isn't. This isn't exactly what I need, um, but it will help. Let's actually go back to this view and get close in on some of this stuff here. This is looking nice. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Yeah, not often we get a nighttime view of the city. Hopefully those of you on your mobile devices aren't having too many issues seeing it all. I think it's bright enough, isn't it? Cool, looking good. I might get a montage together at some point of some cool looking nighttime stuff that uh, we can check out at the end of a video or something because I want to get on with stuff today. Let's just scroll around this way. Oh, I like that with the central park in the middle. That is looking nice. That is looking nice. Okay, so let's have a look up here. 
Uh, if we turn this on and off, we'll get rid of those blue lines. So if we go into here, it always takes me ages to find this one because it's called Outside Connections, but it's got your import and export. So this is an interesting one to look at, and it, it is a bit hard to see because at the moment we are basically importing, it looks like, all of our mail. So we need to sort of take a look at that in a moment. But as for importing other products, I mean, obviously it's relative because this is taking up so much space. They don't look too bad. Um, exporting, we're exporting loads of things. I mean, I'd like actual concrete figures. I'd like concrete figures. You know, you've got the ability to process X amount, but you're importing X amount. You could build a few more to balance that up. That's what I would like. But unfortunately, we don't get those sort of figures. But I mean, we can look at that and say we're exporting forestry products. So a lot of those aren't being turned into goods. We're not exporting that many goods, which are coming from these factories. Modular house factory, food factory, uh, industrial steel plant. That's what it's counting as goods. I'm assuming the boat factory counts as goods. Apparently it doesn't. Don't know why. What else counts as goods? These do, which is... Oh, okay. So it's, oh, it's also including our normal industry in those. So this will be our car factory. Why does it not count the ship factory? Is that because it's not got everything it needs at the moment? I bet that'll kick in when it gets some metals. And then that'll change. So I suppose that can help. Because ideally you want it all to go to goods. All of these products. So that one is an interesting one to look at. Uh, the import. Let's have a quick look at our mail tab. And then we're going to get on with the, uh, the other thing we wanted to look at. What is the mail under? Here we go. We have a look at our postal tab. So, post offices, efficiency low, high, post offices active. So, we've got post offices here. Yeah, we've got a main sorting office in the middle here. I think that's right, isn't it? Yeah, postal sorting office. And then post offices dotted around. And we can see they're not really covering all of our areas that well. So, I'm thinking we need to put one up here. Let's pop a post office off of that road. And hopefully that will cover... How far does the happiness go? Not very far. So I'm thinking I'm going to need another one down here to cover all of this area. Can I sort of squeeze one in somewhere? By the school. Yes. There we go. That'll cover that. We don't have one in this area, although it has been visited by a post office. But we can squeeze one in. Let's try this side road down here. There we go. There. Excellent. And I don't know... Yeah, this one over here. There's one over here, but I think there's so much post in this area due to the amount of people. Uh, let's try not to destroy a house. Is there a gap anywhere? Yes. Right there. And let's see if we can cover that a bit and then see whether that affects... Yeah, like we definitely need two here, don't we? Look. Let's put them next to each other. They're doing one side, but not doing the other side. Let's see how much that affects our importing and exporting and see if we can get our mail imports down. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, because there's ore in there. You might be able to see it, the lighter colour. Okay, there we go. That's, that's that done. Right, so let's have a look at what should we go for? It says this one's modular. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum. Yeah, I think that's like an additional one. We're going to go with this one, which is the, the standard one that comes with it. And I think this is a good spot over here. And then we can connect to this road coming in. And it goes to that big road there, and it can head off into the city. We'll see how that goes. You can also connect it to up here as well. We could buy another square. Hmm. I mean, we could buy this square here and then use like that spot and that will give access right to the highway and the rail. Do you know what? I think that would be better. Let's buy this square. It's not going to be long before we buy in all the squares, so I'm not overly concerned about that. How about here? This seems like a nice place to put it. Road, rail links. We could have all sorts going on there, couldn't we? We could connect to there to go back. Yeah. Let's, let's use this spot here. Let's have a look at it again, the size of it. So if we have that going, not against that road, but if it went that way. So somewhere in there. Unfortunately, we're getting a lot of noise. 
Ideally, I'd like it facing the other direction. If I get that to jump round. There we go. Nope. Let's get that facing the other way, please. There we go. That's what we want. Oh, switch. There we go. That way. Thank you. No, it's still not the right way around. There we go. Like that. Yeah. I want a road in here somewhere, and I want to keep it that far away. So let's let's try it. Let's grab... Right, let's try and squeeze this in here. I want it this way round, if we can, which means we've got to move that road up a tiny touch. Let's just go like that. Then we can delete this one. See whether that's enough space to fit it in. Yes, there we go. So if that went there, or do I want it here? No, I want it here. Like that. Yep. And I also want to fit a cargo train terminal in here as well. So let's see what we can do about that. Cargo train terminal. Which could go the other side of the road and connect to those two rail lines. So we might end up with like a one-way road system thing going on here. They're also going to turn around at the end. Well, we can assist with that. And then we've got connection to this road here. Maybe we'll connect to this road here. It's bigger. We've got a lot of junctions, though. That's the only thing. I was hoping to get straight onto that roundabout here, but I've sort of moved that in the way. We could move that down, actually, couldn't we? Let's move that down to there. And that can happily connect to that. They can get through to the highway and head out to wherever they need to go. Uh, the train station. I always forget which side they come in on. Let's have a look at this one. So as we look at the, yep, yeah, that side, they're going on the right. Yep, yeah, so that'll be good. They will go in that side. Yeah, that should work out okay. Let's just get some water down to these guys. Hook this up and sort of see how it goes. Uh, we'll have that one there. And we'll have another one here. And probably another one next to it as well. There we go. Excellent. Let's get some power over to you lovely people. Welcome to the city. Very glad to have you. Let's hook up our rail line. It'll be interesting to see how this works. So what do I want going on here? Do I want a little two-way sort of splitty thing? Yes, I do. Uh, let's grab that. I don't think we can fit in... Not that. Yeah, that big one. We'll go with our nice little one that we use that works quite well. Which is all the way up here, which is that one. So if we can get that in here somewhere. And give us enough space to get around the corner. That should do. That looks okay to me. So we'll go... Here to there. Yep, nice. Here to there, and then we'll go over here. Here to there. There we go. So we get a connection in there. I also want to connect to here. So let's go. We're going to go over the road. I don't want to. Okay, let's get that a bit more slopey. Like that. Like that. Page down like that. Yeah, that'll do. And then I want that to connect up to here. So if we delete... Let's delete that. Give us some space to work with. Oh, this will be interesting. Let's delete that. Let's turn off Anarchy, which I've accidentally left on. Hmm. Ideally, I wanted that to hook up to there, and then these two to hook up to that one. I don't think that's going to happen. How close can we get up here? Let's delete that one. Yeah, it's going to be near enough. Near enough is good enough. Eyeball it in. There we go. Nice. So that is going to go to there. Whoops, wrong button. That is going to go to there. That is going to go to there. Which we need to monkey around with so it actually connects up with both. Yep, there we go. Excellent. That's fine. And this one's going to go down here. Yep, yeah, that's connected up. That's all okay. That's connected up as well. Just felt like that needs to move a little bit. That looks alright. 
So we've now got connections for the cargo. Which is what we want. And the cargo terminal. That is cool. And that can head out in either direction as well. That can head out in either direction. We probably don't need both of these connections. You know what we could do is make this one way. One way in and one way out. And then if they need to come over here, they can go back around there again. We'll see how it goes. We, we could do that. Oh, there we go. Look, they're going in. Let's just watch what's happening here. Yes, they're coming out the other way. That's what we want. And then where they're going to go to turn around, that's the problem. They're going to be going all the way up there to turn around to come back to go into there. <laughs> Which isn't very good. Because that's just going to cause unnecessary traffic up there. Well, we could sort of do something about that, couldn't we? Should I add just a little turning area there? Or if I change the type of road we're using... Because mm. mm -mm 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 -mm. these have all got medians in the middle, haven't they? That's what we've gone for. Yeah, look, this is all now backing up for these to come down. Yeah, let me see what I can work out over here. There we go, that's working out well. So most of the stuff coming out of here, like these trucks, are heading off to other places, so they will head up. But every now and again, oh, there we go, some of these, they're going round. They'll drop off there, they'll go round again. And then I'm wondering where they'll go after that. If they'll go back to here. Head off into the city, maybe. So it's going to start getting a little bit busy. Oh, there we go. We've actually got a cargo plane ready to take off. Excellent. That's what we want to see. Here we goes. Woohoo! Taking our cargo off to another area. So I'm hoping that's not going to affect this too much. It's getting busy, isn't it? As people are now redirecting their cargo whereas before they may have traveled over to here they're now traveling over to here and it might just be adding a little bit too much to that roundabout we might be able to change that by having a junction here on the highway and you know what i think that's what we're going to do we are going to bring this road and have a connection going either way on the highway that's what we're going to try let's try and wing it so rather than using one of the built-in is that going to be a problem? No. Rather than using one of the built-in junctions that we always seem to use. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, it's just not high enough, is it? Okay, let's go back to what I was on before. There we go. Ping. Thank you very much. What? Come on now, seriously. Let me get that in there. Thank you very much. Let's have a look. Is that okay? Everybody's happy. That's fine. So if we go over the top like that and then come down the other side like that. Right. So we can have... Oh, this will be interesting. Let's have a look. So anybody coming up here, we want them to be able to go that way. So we could add like a little slip road down there. We also want them to be able to go this way. So we're going to add a little slip road down here. Like that. So they can go both ways on the highway. Coming off the highway, coming up here. You want like a connection going that way. So let's go like that. And then coming this way, we want a connection coming up the highway as well. So let's go like that. So let's see how that goes. I mean, it's not going to be the best junction ever, but it might just work. Because this is now <laughs> this is now chocker block. So why, where were you wanting to go to? Collecting garbage. So you're just trying to go round. Okay, I might just need to do a little work on this this little area here. Okay, I changed that junction for a different one. <laughs> what I did was horrible. Horrible. I've gone for the Timbo's T-Bone Interchange, and that works quite well. A lot of trucks are using it, which is good. Upgraded this road to six lanes just to work with the three lanes each way here. Uh, changed this to a two-lane road, and that's working much better. And also added in this, so everybody coming on has to give way. So that's working much better. Uh, the only thing is, is we are getting a lot of trucks coming down here. And I'm thinking 
let's have a look at this district. So Luddy Square takes up all of this area. If we just take Luddy Square off of this road, so it doesn't cause any issues, and if we add Luddy Square onto this road, there... I'm not too worried about this outside road. Oh, saving game. Sip of tea. There we go. So what I'm thinking of doing, and you might already see where this is going, is stop trucks coming down there. I mean, it might redirect them around the outside, or they might just think they'll come down here. We're going to add in Luddy Square. Is it called Old Town Policy? I think around here somewhere. It's been ages since I've used it. Old Town. Only residents and businesses can use the air for motor vehicles, ban other motor traffic. So we'll go for that. So that then should stop these trucks coming from down here. I mean, we can see where they're coming from. Uh, pedestrians, cycles, private vehicles, public transport and cargo trucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, those trucks don't count anymore? That's weird. Okay, let's not do it that way. Let's do it this way. So where did you... You're an oil truck. Where did you come from? Oh, okay. Because I put uh, Old Town on here, it's like changing the... There we go. Changing what they think. So anybody coming from down here should go around up onto the highway and down there. We just need to carefully make sure that it doesn't go onto this road by mistake. There we go. They can still go around the roundabout, but not down there. So I'm going to leave this running for a few moments and see whether that makes... There you go. Look, we can already see trucks skipping it and going round. You want to see none of these come down here. There we go. It's only taken a few minutes, and we're now no longer getting any cargo coming down there, which is good. Look at the speeding ambulance, which is fantastic. This is working nicely. They're happily going in. They're happily leaving. Which is great, and it's not really blocking anything up here. I mean, as long as these trucks can come out, which they are. In fact, having this sort of traffic stopping every now and again for ones to go in means they can come out. If this starts getting blocked up that they can't come out, I'll put a little bypass on. Straight past this over to here and make this one way. But at the moment, that seems to be okay. Hmm, I am wondering now about changing this to a one-way road. And having, yeah, we'll leave it like that. Everything's moving. Everything's good. Our traffic is 80%. So that's good. It's just very busy here. But don't mind that at all. Don't mind that at all. And everything's humming along nicely. Excellent. Well, I'm pleased with that. I like that one. I mean, we're approaching 70,000. And when we get there, we will then also unlock this one here. The Cargo Airport Hub, which actually has the train built into it so we may leave this section here and add one of those over in another part of the city somewhere where do you think would be a good spot for adding that in i mean over here we've got our cargo train terminal could we sort of hook it in with that and use some of this area what do you reckon let me know in the comments below where you think we should put that yeah, and also hit the big B with the tea stain. Be back here tomorrow for the next episode. And thank you very, very much for watching. Let's get some close views on this lovely cargo airport hub. Well, it's not called that. You know what I mean? And I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>